Hey guys, I've been getting a lot of questions asking how to route the latest Android Lollipop preview for the Nexus 5, so I thought I'd go ahead and make a tutorial on how to do just that. It is actually a little bit different than how you'd normally route a Nexus device due to security improvements in Android 5.0, including SE Linux and loads of under the hood changes. I have fully unrouted my device, so I'll be doing this along with you. All the links you'll need are in the description below, so yeah, let's get to it. Now I'm assuming you have the developer preview already installed and that should mean you already have an unlocked bootloader or at least know how to unlock it and you should also have the fast boot drivers correctly installed and usable on your PC at least that's what I'm going to assume. This isn't a tutorial on how to install the developer preview I'm sorry but if you don't know how to install it you probably shouldn't really be giving it a go. So let's jump straight to the files you're going to need. The first obvious one is a custom recovery so go ahead and open up Google type TWRP into the search box and it should be the very first link right at the top there team win projects go ahead and click that wait for the site to load in the right hand corner you should see a little box that says get twrp for your device go ahead and click that type in the nexus 5 click the resulting link and once that page loads scroll down until you find the download the new image file link you can see it right there just under the download recovery image method click that and yeah just click the latest one that's currently available to you for me that's 2.8.0.1 so I'm going to go ahead and click that link. You have to wait 10 seconds but once that's up it should automatically start the download. And there you go, you can see it in the corner there, it started to download and that's the custom recovery done. So next up we actually need to download the normal root file. This is pretty standard, this is how you normally root a Nexus device. So again the links are in the description, just go ahead and hit the download. I'm not going to do this because I already have it. Now this next part is something we didn't normally have to do on a Nexus device but due to Google tightening up Android security it's a step we now need otherwise root just won't work. Basically it's a custom boot image that modifies the RAM disk. Now there's loads more to it than that. Chainfire has an excellent description on exactly what's going on with root in this next Android version. I'll include that link so you can read up on it if you'd like to. Chainfire's boot image also leaves SE Linux on enforcing instead of permissive like some other boot images which is better for security so this is a pretty good one to use. Click the link for the Nexus 5 and just again hit the download link and that's it. Those are all the files you're going to need. So here are the three files we downloaded and just for ease of use I'm going to rename the custom recovery to TWRP. My PC has extensions showing, hence why it shows the dot image at the end of the file. If you don't have extensions showing on yours, don't rename it to twrp.image, otherwise it'll be .image.image and it'll just cause you an issue a little later on, so don't do that. Next up, as my phone is already booted up into Android, we might as well go ahead and plug it in so we can transfer one of these files over to the device just so it's a bit easier. You could of course use ADB later on to actually send this file over, but like I said, as it's on, we'll just do it now. So we're just going to head over into my tutorial file. You could of course put this anywhere on your Nexus 5 and just drag over the super su.zip file. That's the one we normally drag over when you root your device. That's the file we'll be flashing via the custom recovery right at the end of this process. So just transfer it over and forget about it for now. On your Nexus 5 you can unplug it and then turn it off. We actually need to boot it into the bootloader mode now so turn it off. Wait for it to fully turn off of course and once it's done that go ahead and hold volume down and power for around 3 seconds and you should get to the bootloader mode the screen that you can see right now. Plug it back into your computer and we'll head back over to the PC. If you have fastboot installed to the windows directory you can just hold shift and right click the folder then press open command window here otherwise just go ahead and open fastboot as you normally do. Now just to make sure the device is attached properly type fastboot devices you should see your device listed right there there it is that's my nexus 5. So now you're ready to start flashing some files so type fastboot flash recovery followed by the name that we called the recovery so in this case it's twrp img and once you've written that out just go ahead and press enter and that's it it should now flash the recovery it should take i don't know one to two seconds not very long at all next we need to extract the zip here the one called nexus 5 hammerhead lpx 13d kernel zip you can use any program you want i'm just using winrar it is a boot.image file so i'm just going to put this in the same folder we already have the stuff there it is boot.image and now in your command prompt just go ahead and type fastboot flash boot and then boot.image and hit enter. That's it. That's the custom boot image we need to get root working on Nexus 5. Again it's not going to take very long at all. And that's actually all you need to do on the PC. So we'll just head over to the phone now. Use the volume rocker to scroll around until you find recovery mode and then use the power button to actually go into the recovery mode. 
This is where you should see the TWRP splash screen if you installed everything correctly. If you see an Android sign with an exclamation mark, it means you haven't installed the custom recovery. Once you're here, hit the install tab. Then you need to find the folder that we put that super user zip in right at the beginning of the video. I put it into the tutorial folder. There it is. And if we go into that, you can see there it is, the superuser.zip. Again, tap into that and then just swipe over to the right hand side and that's it. It's gonna be flashing the super user and root on your Nexus 5 and you're done. Just hit the reboot button, wait for the device to boot back in. And once it does, you'll see a super user application in your app drawer. And if we go ahead and try for root now, we'll verify root using the root checker here. It should ask you to grant it permissions. And if we do that, you'll see that it says we now have root access and that's it. That's how you can root the Nexus 5 on the latest Android L preview. Now, some root adapts aren't working because of some of the changes behind the scenes on Android Lollipop. So you'll have to wait for the apps to be updated. But there you go, guys. I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.